Hi friends, uh, today we have Neelav Deep, who is one of our AI course enrolled students. Uh, thank you, Neelav, for taking the time to discuss your learning journey with us. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. So I'll give a brief introduction about you, and then we'll get started with the core of the discussion itself. Yes, sir. Good. So uh, Neelav just joined as a data scientist at a very interesting product-based startup called Oriserve, which builds NLP and chatbot-based technologies for CRM or customer relationship management. Very interesting uh, uh, deep learning or NLP startup out of India. So uh, he recently graduated from IIIT Gauhati, and this is his first role straight out of college. So congratulations on this uh, on this first job. And, thank you, sir. Thank uh, you so much. Great. So I just wanted to understand how was the what was the interview experience like for for this product based startup, which is very NLP and chatbot driven. Yeah, uh, so actually we had uh, three uh, major interviews. Uh, the first one was uh, basically uh, they, in the first interview, they asked me almost everything uh, theoretical uh, in the field of machine learning, deep learning. And the breadth of the uh, interview was that almost all the part that is taught in the applied AI course from the, you, you can say, except for the statistics part, they asked everything on machine learning, deep learning, and even some questions on state of the art uh, deep learning techniques. Like they also are asked questions about transformers and all everything. Yeah, so that was basically the breadth of the uh, interview. And regarding the depth of the interview, like they would uh, ask a simple concept. First, they will ask, what is this? Uh, like I would say, if I give the answer, and then they will dive in uh, deep in that topic. And they expected uh, some uh, mathematical depth also from me, like um, not that, not too much, but yeah, they expected some kind of mathematical depth also. Uh, so basically, uh, the interview was like that only in the first uh, first round. And um, uh, in the second round, uh, they had uh, given me an uh, 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 an assignment, basically a take take home assignment, and it was a uh, uh, multi level classi classification problem that they given us. And uh, um, we have an assignment in the Applied AI course as well, the, the tech predictor uh, assignment. So it was almost similar in that, uh, around that lines only. So it was pretty cool and easy for me to crack. This was also I did an that NLP and it, problem? So was this also yes, an NLP problem? Yes, sir. It was an, labels? Okay. Yes, sir. It was an NLP problem. Got like it. some kind of something detection that I had to do in that assignment. Got it. Got and um, that was the second round. And the third round was uh, again um, the uh, the lead engineer uh, took that uh, interview, and in that also it was uh, basically they asked almost everything like uh, uh, the basic uh, concepts and also some kind of programming questions they asked. Sir. Okay, got so it. This so this was an overview of the interview. Very nice, very nice overview. So you also mentioned that you had an assignment, right, which is a multi-label classification on an LP problem, which is very similar yes. to one of our assignments. So yes. what were they actually looking for when you submitted this uh, task? Because I think they give you some data set where you have to solve and submit your solution. What were they looking yes. for? What are the two, three things, top two, three things that they were looking for in this? Yes. So basically the first thing that they were looking was uh, the approach, like what type of approach uh, uh, we followed. And uh, they were also looking at the results, but uh, they were mostly interested in the approach only. And uh, uh, in the while solving the assignment, I also did uh, a lot of exploratory data analysis. And and also like uh, in our assignments that we have done in the applied AI course, you would give the business constraints and everything. I have written everything, like what metrics we are going to use, everything I have written. And they were quite happy about with the assignment. And uh, okay. so I think uh, they have taken me for the third round because of that only. So you structured your whole submission based on how we do case studies in the course. Yes, sir. Like uh, as we have done in the our assignments in the course, like the same uh, format very I use. Very Even I have imported pretty table in the last uh, conclusion part, like we we did in the assignments, and I have used that technique only. Good, good, good. So yeah. you said the last round also had some programming. What sort of programming round was it? Well, sir, uh, it was not that difficult. Like they were not asking like higher uh, data structures and algorithms. No, they were not asking like that. But they were testing my knowledge on Python. Uh, like how much work I'm comfortable in Python and if I can write code in Python or not, the questions are not uh, that very difficult. Got it. Like simple, got it. For simple questions only. Okay, got it. So uh, yeah. what was your learning strategy as a BTEC student who was finishing his undergraduate studies? So what yeah. was your learning strategy to make the most out of the Applied AI course, given that you're studying at IIIT Gauhati? Yes, sir. So uh, basically, I am not from a computer science background. I am from electronics background. So we do not have much of programming in our uh, course. Like we have some programming, but not very hardcore programming. So what I did was I 
uh, initially I focused on the programming part because my programming was not that great initially. So I uh, learned how to program things like, and then uh, like whatever you have taught taught in the course, like I just followed the steps only. Like you said, uh, make notes, and I, I made very rigorous notes like that I'll tell you. Like even while making the notes, I would even write the explanations like what, what do we explain? I would write that even in the notes. Got so it. I have all around six, seven copies, big copies I have filled with the notes only. Very so much, uh, much. yeah, and uh, it helped it, in the later part of the course, it really helped because revision was one of the key parts. And initially I made a mistake, like I would go through the videos, I would write everything, but I did not revise it. Like for, let's say initially like three, four months, I would not revise and I would then forget the concepts. But in the later part of the, part of the course, I would revise it regularly, like let's say around seven days, 10 days like that. So uh, that was the thing. And in the assignment part, uh, like initially I had a few issues, like I found it difficult in the initial part, but after solving one or two assignments, then things became uh, simple. Yes. And uh, so, yeah, because you come from a non CS background. You might feel the yes. first couple of assignments, little, little hectic, but once yes. you get into the flow, everything follows. So that's, 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 yes, that's yes. very valid. We see this from a lot of non CS students. Yes, sir. And cool. one very important thing that I would want to say is that uh, I think it's like consistency is the key part. Yes. Like if you keep doing it, uh, like keep doing it, uh, then things flow in sir, and then it doesn't happen. A problem doesn't occur, sir. Uh, so did you get stuck anywhere in your whole learning journey with Applied AI course, whether it's conceptually or in the code parts? Did you have that getting stuck and you needed help and things like that? Yeah, so uh, while uh, in the theoretical part, uh, like I, I did not get much of difficulty, like whatever you taught, it was like you still get understood it. Like even sometimes I would watch the video two, three times and then I would just get it, like what uh, the concepts. But in the assignment part, yes, uh, initially in the first and second assignment, not in the first assignment, uh, the second, third assignment, the donor choose data set. In that uh, assignment, I had initially some problems, but then I understood it, how to do it. And later on in the case studies, uh, like yes, one or two case studies, I found it a little difficult, uh, like uh, the, the text demand prediction, that case study, uh, like uh, that was a little difficult for me, but I just kept doing it, kept doing it, reading. Uh, I even also read many blogs on Medium, mm -hmm. towards data science, everything. And then uh, things fall and fell in place. And one thing I did was I would not uh, directly ask question to the team. Like I would first try struggle in that part. Like, I think I felt that struggling is that that uh, portion where we grow the most. So yes. I I struggled, I used to struggle and sometimes and if, I'm, if I uh, like feel that, okay, I can't do this, then I would shoot a mail to the team and uh, things fall in place. Huh? Got it, got it. And I yeah. think you're also very consistent in your journey, never giving up, trying yes, to sir. push yourself to the max so that you yes, complete sir. everything and uh, you, you learn as much as possible. Yes, sir. Good, good, good. So yeah. what suggestions would you give to students very similar to you who are pursuing their undergrad in a non-CS field who also yes. want to pick up AI machine learning in their third year or final year to build a yes. career in data science? So what suggestions would you give for them? Okay, so uh, for the fresher roles, I think uh, uh, the students need to focus on two things only, uh, as I feel. The first part is uh, programming part. And the second part is uh, like the basic theory of the of machine learning and deep learning. And also not just uh, the theory, they will also have to, uh, like if they, they are thinking of going into some good companies, product-based companies, then they will also have to learn it uh, from a mathematical point of view to quite to certain depth. And um, so that is, if they do that, uh, I think they will crack any job. Like um, the programming and the theoretical knowledge is only tested for the freshers, as I felt. Like many other like system design and all everything is, I think not tested in uh, for freshers. It's, it's the system yeah. design is typically for people who already have some software engineering experience or relevant yes. experience. That's true. Yes, sir. Yes, cool. Sir. Very nice. Uh, anything else that you wanted to add, uh, Neelav? Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, uh, at some point of time in the learning journey, uh, like uh, students might feel difficulties. Like uh, after all, learning um, machine learning, deep learning is not very easy. Uh, if I say, it will be difficult if I say it is very easy. So um, uh, I think students need to uh, give uh, their 100% and keep doing it consistently. And it doesn't matter, matter if the student is weak or uh, very smart. Even I don't consider myself very smart uh, to be a very smart student. I think just uh, the student just have to keep doing it consistently and keep doing it. And at some point of time, they will just uh, learn everything. Sir. That's a very valid point because yeah. we see a lot of students going through a roller coaster of journey. Sometimes yes. they do very fast, then, then they slow down, they get stuck. Yes. We see that whole roller coaster and we typically see students who succeed being not the smartest of them, 
but the most yeah. consistent of them. You're very right. Even our yeah. data shows that it's not the smartest people from the top universities who successfully complete and transition, but those who are consistent in their learning journey. Very yes, nice indeed. points. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Neelav, on taking time to discuss your learning journey with us. I'm sure it will help a lot of our students who are either undergraduate students or who are just finishing their undergraduate studies. Thank you once again. Once again, congratulations on this successful transition to a data scientist role. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. It was an honor to talk to you, sir. Thank you. Nice talking to you, too. Yeah.